Mark Sokol Blosser. I'm the winemaker here at Sokol Blosser Winery. Today we're going to talk about sabering. Sabering can be done in three easy steps. You've got to chill the bottle of wine, you've got to find a hard object, and then you've got to find and follow the seam of the bottle. So, we've done step one. We've put a bottle of Evolution Sparkling in the freezer for two hours. It's nice and cold. Step two, we have a saber. This is a nice hard object. You can use a wrench. You can use uh, uh, a, a big kitchen knife. That'll work. So step three is we got to find and then follow the seam with your hard object. So finding the seam, on, there's a vertical seam that runs from where the bottom of this wire hood meets all the way down to the bottom of the bottle. On the other side, there's another seam. It's common in all glass bottles. So we got the seam, we've got the cold bottle, we've got the hard object, and then with one strong thrust, you're going and do this outside, folks. You're just going to... This will work. Bam. So, and then, well, the good news about doing uh, sabering is that the pressure that's inside the bottle blows out all any kind of glass that, that might be around, and it's perfectly safe to pour um, said bottle of Evolution Sparkling into a glass, and it always tastes much better after you saber. And also, be very careful. That's really sharp. It's not, a, you know, don't let your kids play with it. Um, but that's how you savor. And it's a great parlor act. You can impress your friends and neighbors and even have a better time at your party. To evolution.